as you go in, you'll see that it's never about this big looming thing that's bigger or greater than us. That when you go into anything, you find you're always greater than the situation. What are beliefs then? Just so that we get really clear on this and how they color our world. What are limiting beliefs? If you're talking about limiting beliefs, they're only a vibration of energy that appears to be really tangible and real and surrounds us because we've been giving it a lot of attention for quite a long period of time. And once we give enough attention to something, we begin to have physical evidence of it. So if you had, as a little kid, were taunted or bullied and people called you stupid or clumsy, and then why is it that you fall on your face in front of the people that you are afraid to be embarrassed by most? Because there's a vibration that when we pay attention to the limiting experiences, we begin to have evidence of that in the outside world. So how has that affected you in life? Think about that. We have a path out of this, just so that we know before we look at some of the limiting beliefs so that you don't get yourself feeling stuck there or sad by them. But the path is forgiveness. That's the fast path out of limiting beliefs. Because if you've been experiencing in your physical world the result of a vibration that's been around you for quite a while, then that's how it feels to you that this is this is life. And so be really kind to yourself right now and realize you've had evidence of things in life that pointed towards your limiting beliefs as being real. And you've had an idea in life about this lie of lack as being really real because this is a finite world we're navigating here. So when you begin to have a core expectation, that's a belief. When you've seen enough evidence of it that you begin to expect it, but just because there's evidence of it doesn't mean that it's truth and that you need to give it any more attention. If it doesn't feel good, then you know it's not reality for you. Okay, so just back to a basic truth about this. When you are aligned with things that are true, aligned with the things that are the divine truth of you, your omnipotence and your power and your resourcefulness and your infinite capacity for creativity and to create and evolve things, it feels good. Challenge doesn't feel awful. So that's why those Olympic athletes can go back and be challenged every day and lifting weights and doing things that they do because it feels good to them. They feel aligned with something that's that's a, an, a vision now, but that they feel that they have a capability of getting to. That's a place where you're aligned. It feels good. The places where it feels awful is where you know it's a limiting belief and you know that it's a lie of lack. So just number one, your feelings are key. Honoring your feelings are key. Respecting and loving yourself enough to honor your feelings is key. So go back inside, back inside. Remember, get yourself first between you and you. How do you first say, okay, I'm going to love myself now when I've really been believing this lie of lack and all these limiting beliefs and all these things that are abusive to me, thoughts and feelings <clears throat> and concerns that feel really not omnipotent or not peaceful. Let all that go right now. Forgive that. In this moment, forgive that. That was just you forgetting and being part of the human condition, the world of conditions that we are conditioned into. It's almost like glue or quicksand sucks you right in. And it's life in general. But if we don't take that time and space away like we did in the meditation to really reflect and connect on the something more, then we have this insidious feeling all through life, there must be more than this. 
there must be more than this. Luckily, there is. That's our call home. That's the voice of the Holy Spirit saying to us, hear more. You're the Spirit. You're holiness. You're of unboundedness. There is more than this. There is more than this. So when we get that feeling of there must be more than this, most people then look outside to try to get things outside that satisfy the urge to find more. And that's just the distraction and what the world has been kind of built around were a lot of the distractions. Instead now, take some hints from before someone steps onto that platform for an Olympic event, they go inward. Notice how they take a big deep breath. They might not know it, they're connecting to spirit. They might not know it, but they're smiling wide before that as they're walking up because this is fun. The thought and feeling that they have is this is fun. What if you chose from this moment on only to do what feels fun? And that means if you have a job, you don't necessarily feel as fun. You make it fun. You show up fun. And you bring that delight. You bring your creativity. You bring your resourcefulness. You bring your almighty capacity to transcend anything. You bring it. Then and only then do you start to realize that limiting beliefs were only the idea of separation keeping us stuck in a world that's in insidiously the same in that you're not enough. So the way we do this is we change our mind to change our life. Our mind is the tool that we can take it off of the world and focus it inward on our true self and then be able to allow ourselves to routinely accept the thoughts that feel good to us. Routinely accept the thoughts that feel good. So it becomes part of your day-to-day -day life that you're saying, okay, where's, where's the benefit of this for me if it's a challenge? Where do I rise to the occasion for this? Where do I learn something that I never would have learned had I not had this focus? Because this is kind of an imperative for me to focus in a direction of getting over this hurdle or over this challenge or over this pain. But instead, what if I don't try to go over it if I don't feel capable? I instead go through it, right through it, right through the middle of it with my eyes open and my heart open. And I gain all of the power inherent in it. That's truly why we came to a life that has challenges and, and things that could feel uh, like there, there are parts of what we find a little distasteful sometimes. Go through it while you're connected to the source of you and you will see a completely different reality. Completely different reality. You will gain all of the power inherent in it. It won't feel formidable no matter what the obstacle is. As you go in, you'll see that it's never about this big looming thing that's bigger or greater than us. That when you go into anything, you find you're always greater than the situation. And know this, most all of our problems are situational. They are not us. Do not identify with a problem. They are situational. That means they are finite. You, on the other hand, are infinite. And your capacity to walk through these situations or these things with your eyes open and your heart open allow for you to really transcend enough in this place that you start to get the hang of this, that you know, okay, I will connect with what feels lovely because only love is real and only that is true. If on the other hand, you're being driven by negative beliefs or limiting beliefs, they don't feel good. Pretty black and white. They don't feel good. There's not enough to go around competition. All competition is comparison. All comparison is of the ego. So if we look at this, there's not enough to go around and you really realize that that's not true. 
we have perspectives that limit us in how we are resourceful sometimes, maybe thinking that we don't have food when there's plenty of food over here that's going to waste and it could be sent over here for the people who don't have it right now. We have perspectives that are limited, but when we get in touch with this unbounded nature, we see that we came here to live from this place of abundance. No one is deprived of abundance. When you become abundant, no one else loses abundance because you become abundant. When you become healthy, no one else loses health because you become healthy. No one else is deprived of their help because you became healthy. So realize that there's enough to go around for everyone. And when you focus on what you love and deserve to experience the most, no one else loses. No one else loses. In fact, you become inspiring and you become someone who people love to be around because you spark their capacity to remember who they are.